Good afternoon, everybody. Melissa here. It's uh, Sunday, the 16th of December. It's actually my mum's birthday today. Um, so I am a little late at uh, sort of reporting back on the wedding last week. Uh, it's been quite a busy week at work uh, with Christmas coming up. Um, so I, um, yes, yeah, so the week has been really good. One thing that has been annoying me a little bit though. Um, um, is actually the Christmas songs, not for them being played, but I'm a little bit sad that they've taken the word faggot out of um, the fairy tale of New York. Um, I'm probably really un -PC for saying that, but I don't care. <laughs> um, I think, you know, as uh, being a gay man for 17 years, you know, it's not an offensive word. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, it actually needs to be included and in, in, in using all the old stuff up to put into a meatball. Um, so how it's kind of got misconstrued in that sense in the Christmas carol song, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a bit sad. Sad week for Christmas songs. You know, I think we should be moving forward, not trying to change the past. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, good week. Um, lots has happened, actually. Um, so the wedding went really, really well. I was up at 6am in the morning, not so nice, but... Um, yeah, the wedding went well. The um, everyone was like absolutely amazing, and I got very drunk. Actually, I drank uh, lots of alcohol and shots. Um, it was quite nice, I guess, in a way. You know, but I think um, when everyone's like coming in the evening, especially, and people like come over have a shot. So it was more of a way of sort of like you know, it's like I guess you know that acceptance thing and and being part of part of the village again and that really. So it was quite nice. So I you know it was it was a good a really good time to get drunk. And especially celebrating my friends' weddings, and yeah, it was perfect. Um, but also, there's things that happened. Actually, there's been a couple of things. <clears throat> um, um, <laughs> it's gonna make me sound a bit slutty. Um, so I, I have actually had sex since I have spoken to you last. Um, I actually ended up being active, so I was giving. Um, and uh, you know, at the time, I was like, "Wow, oh my God!" And I think that was just the testosterone in my body still. Um, enjoying it, but afterwards I was like, that definitely is not how I want to be having sex, that's not me at all. Um, so it just was a lot, an, an, another sort of like aff uh, com confirmation of me of like the journey that I'm going on and how I want to, um, you know, as soon as possible get on these hormones because actually I do feel a bit like having this testosterone in my body still. Um, I'm still very, very horny, and I, you know, I feel like it's actually getting away, getting in the way of my, my progress in work, and you know, where I'm just, you know, maybe thinking about sex too much. I really want to be thinking about, you know, my success as a businesswoman, and um, and growing that way, and, and having my mind maybe less, less focused on, on sex. Um, but I have come off um, some of the websites and that now, and like Grinder and things like that to stop myself but having um a what's called a distraction um but i also went on a date this week and um and that was amazing really really good um we went actually into chichester and uh it was probably like the best w date i could have ever been on um in terms of uh, you know he opened the doors for me he paid we were holding hands over the table um so it, really that's kind of i guess the benchmark for me for dating now like i can't imagine if i don't really get that then i don't think i want anything <laughs> anything below that um so yes yeah, so hopefully we'll see each other again you know we've been messaging since but um it was quite nice because it was the, the fact that we were in public and when i have been chatting to people online a lot of it is they want you to just come straight over to their house and you know, do things. So um, it was quite nice that it was, you know, a proper day. It ended with kisses, a little kiss and that as well. But um, no, that was really good. Um, and then it's just been a manic week of work, really. So I haven't really done an awful lot. I went into town for my friend's birthday last night as well. We went to um, just a restaurant with some of the girls from the wedding and that. So um, that was nice. And it's, yeah, it's just everything is sort of feeling really sort of natural and normal now. Um, shaving is still getting very, very irritating and just having to shave every day. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm living the life I want to live now, so I'm, I'm still, I'm quite happy. I think I've just found back, got back onto like a level, um, now rather than sort of being sort of up and down, up and down. Um, and it's just really sort of waiting now till sort of after January. And that's when I can get, but you know, I can start booking something in. Um, in terms of being able to afford to book something in for my assessment. And so that's really going to be the next 
the next step. So for now, it's just going to be work, 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 and then and then get get booked in. So it was just a little check in today. Nothing too big, nothing too small, but um, I'm just I'm feeling really really good. Obviously, I want to spend more money on clothes. I want more makeup. I would like to get my ears pierced. I'd like to sort my tattoos out so they look a bit more feminine. But um, but generally, I'm feeling I'm feeling absolutely amazing. So um, I'm gonna finish my Sunday off with watching Elf because I've never seen it before. Can you believe it? And um, and cook some nice food. So Merry Christmas to one and all, and um, I shall hopefully see you all soon. And Happy New Year. Have a good one.